In the last season, you fought battles that were brutal and bloody, many of them behind the scenes. The enemy sought to isolate you and break you down, but instead you have been strengthened and weaponized. You are coming out a warrior and a worshiper. You are coming out regal and royal, prepared for inheritance, position, and destiny. Hear what I'm saying by the Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' name, I declare certain things are about to happen for many of you. Personal breakthroughs, personal gifts, the elevation you've been dreaming about, the thing you've been talking to God about, and vice versa. Pack your bags, you are moving to a place called greater. Dress appropriately, it's different up there. Glory to God, from today, Jesus is drying your tears, strengthening your body, and replacing the pain with laughter and joy. Stay close to Jesus, do not wander. This is no time to stray from the path. Stay close to the shepherd, stay bowed low in worship, for King Jesus is leading you somewhere. Hallelujah. You see real destiny and the spoils of the kingdom do not belong to the passive nor the casual. The greater portion is reserved for the ones with the faith, obedience, and audacity to take it by force. Somebody ought to shout, somebody ought to get ready. I heard the Lord say, access has been granted. Receive now in Jesus' name. 1 Corinthians 2.9, however, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. Isaiah 43.19, behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert.